Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the things that I got in my ColourPop order that came yesterday. And um, yeah, so the Mint to Be palette, oh, this is so beautiful, you guys. So beautiful. It's one of their nine pan palettes. And if you know me, then you know that anything like mint green, seafoam green, turquoise, anything in that color family is my jam. So there it is in all its glory. And my favorite shade is this one. So I did my my look around that when I was choosing which ones to use. Um, so that is what I have on my lids and that shade which is called mint tea it has like um, like a luminosity about it and the more you put on the more light and bright it gets and when the light catches it oh, it just glows it's so beautiful I'm so glad I got this um, and then this shade right here is called play it cool and I just used a little bit of that as my brow bone highlight um, that shade is very light and not really that pigmented so I thought it would be the perfect brow bone highlight shade and then this shade right here is called seltzer and that is what I put in the crease and then this shade right here is called ice cold and I dragged a little bit of that along the lower lash line and I used a navy blue eyeliner because I love green and blue together and I thought um, that navy would go best with this could definitely have done black but um, thought it would make it a little more interesting looking with the blue we will come back to this in a minute, but I just want to like break down my look for you. And um, I'll come back to that in a second, though. So I had heard that the Disney Designer Collection blushes were really good. So I thought I'd better grab one before they were gone because these are limited edition. So this is the one in Floating Lights, and I believe that's supposed to be Rapunzel which how cute is that and then that's what it looks like on the back it just says Disney designer collection floating lights and this is the shade yeah I heard really good things about these and I concur with that opinion because uh, that is what I have on now and it's a very soft light silky blush and um, you can either wear it very light, like I have today, which you almost can't even say it. I don't like a lot of blush. I don't know why. Um, or you can build it up and make it more pigmented if you want to. So, yeah, it's very, very soft and silky. And this is just uh, a really pretty, like, cool pink shade that's got like a hint of lavender to it. It's like a light lavender pink. Really, really pretty. But I, I like these kind of blushes. I would actually rather have this type of blush than something that's crazy pigmented because once you put a blush on that's too pigmented, trying to blend it out or worse, take it away is difficult. Whereas with this, you can start lightly and then build it up to the intensity you want. It's just a lot easier. And yeah, this is uh, very, very soft and silky. Very nice. If you haven't picked one of these up yet, I agree with everybody else that it is a very nice blush. And then I got another one of the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. These are matte, so you want to make sure that you moisturize your lips really well with lip balm prior to doing your makeup and then by the time you finish doing your makeup the lip balm will have sunk in you can go in with this and then it won't be too dry 
because um, this is matte. I don't know if every single shade is matte, but this one is matte, and then the one I bought in my last ColourPop haul, that was matte too, so I don't know if they're all matte. I don't think so. Um, so anyways, this is Westy, and this is what I have on my lips right now. It's just a really pretty, cool pink. So there it is, swatched. And uh, yeah, I am so ready for spring, you guys. I have a feeling that all the launches for spring are going to have me more excited about makeup than I've been in a long time because I'm so into these springy colors. Like I bought the Fenty Beauty Pastel uh, palette, and then I got the... Um, sugar pill fun size palette and I'm just really really into these kinds of light slash bright colors I did want to mention though that I don't have just the ColourPop Westie lipstick on I do have this over it if you didn't see my Revlon super lustrous glass shine lipstick video this is like a shiny white lipstick, basically, and I've been putting this on over a lot of my lipsticks lately and just using it as a layering lipstick. You can wear it on its own, but it's not going to give you any color. It might just lighten your lips just a hair because it is white, but that's what I have on over this ColourPop lipstick, and I just really like the shine that it gives and how when the light hits it it just looks really pretty so I do have this on over that lipstick I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that alright let's get back to this mint to be palette because I definitely have more to say about this I just wanted to walk you through the, the look that I did today okay when you look at this it has uh, many different tones to it like this shade that is on my lid is quite cool and then these are cool I'm talking about tones not um, depth of color and but then you come over here and you get more warm greens in this corner right here so I feel like that was a good idea that they did that because you could get different types of looks from the same palette. If they didn't do a multi-tonal um, color story, then every look that you did would end up looking exactly the same. So today I went cool because these are the kind of colors that attract me, but the next time I use this palette, I'm going to try out these warmer shades right here and see what I think of those. Generally speaking, cooler toned colors look better on me because I have cool toned skin, but I'm not somebody that like sticks to that. I just basically wear what I want to wear and I don't care if it's not as flattering or not because I want to be able to wear a lot of different kinds of colors and tones. I'm going to do some swatches for you so you can see how these swatch, but it's 16 degrees outside and it's extremely windy. The gusts of wind, it makes it sound like it's just going to rip the house apart. It's, it's really nasty out there right now. So I have on two shirts and I can't really push this up to do like an arm swatch like I normally would. My my poor furnace is just running constantly, and as soon as it shuts off, about 10 minutes goes by, and it comes right back on again. So I can't switch to, like, a short sleeve shirt or anything because um, it's, it's not cold in here, but it's not warm either. <laughs> so the furnace is having a hard time keeping up. So anyways, I'm going to have to do these swatches, like, on my hand maybe. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So we'll just take it like half the palette at a time. All right, so the first row is, you know, this first pan is popped up a little bit and I pressed it down and it just popped right back up again. So I'm 
going to have to keep an eye on that and make sure that it doesn't fall out. Um, that would be tragic since I just got this palette. So one, two, three, four. All right, so those are the finger swatches of that. Yeah, that, that shade right there. Oh my God, I just love the way it looks when the light hits it. So, yeah, these aren't going to swatch as well as they would like on my arm because the skin on your arm is completely smooth, whereas your hand has to go over the bumps and, and all that. But there's the swatches, so this this color on the top, that's the one, the very first one in the pan that I said looks like it's popped up a little bit, so that's not pigmented at all. But yeah, this is just so stunning. I love that. And then this is the one that I put on my brow bone. And then that is um, the one that I used in the crease. And I did, this, this one is not not that pigmented, but I had no trouble like building it up to the color that I wanted. I was going to take those swatches off my hand and then I thought, no, why don't I swatch the others right next to those just so that you can really see the, the coolness or the warmth and how they play off each other together. Okay, so these are the ones that are left. Wow! I'm so shocked, you guys. They don't look swatched like they look in the pan. Um, yeah, I gotta show you this. Okay, so this, this one right here on my pinky finger is the last one in the second row. And then... Wait a minute, no. No. Back off. <laughs> Back up, I mean. Um, no, this is the, the last one in the second row. Then this one is the first one in the last row. This one is the middle one in the last row. And this is the last one in the last row. But look at how the tone changed after I swatched it. It doesn't... In the pan, it looks so much warmer, but swatched, it's not coming off that way. You know what? I'm not mad about that because I prefer cooler colors. So, wow, I'm just so surprised though. All right, let's see what they look like on my hand. Okay, so... So that's them right there. Wow, that one there is coming off so like bluish green. Okay, that's the one that I dragged underneath my lower lash line. So yeah, that, that one I would expect to be cool. But like this one, in the pan it looks very warm, but it's, it's not coming off warm on my hand. And then this one here didn't uh, pick up very well. It was quite dry. Hmm. So those are all the colors swatched. Unexpected, but yeah. I, I really like that. <laughs> I wasn't sure about the ones that looked warmer, whether I was going to like them or not, because traditionally, whenever I've tried to use really warm, like when I say warm, I mean like, like olive green, that type of shade, doesn't usually look very good on me. Um, but, like I said, I like to use a lot of different colors anyway. But, um, yeah, I, I, so far, I mean, I've only used it the one time, but so far I'm really happy with the look that I got out of this. And... Now that I've swatched them, I would have to say that based on the swatches, that mint tea one, the middle one in the top row, is definitely going to 
remain my favorite. But um, of all the nine pan palettes from ColourPop, this is my third one. So far, I have Going Coconuts, Smoke Show, and this. I'm kind of late to the game with these nine pan palettes from ColourPop. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying the three that I've bought so far. And I think I want to get some of the ones that I missed before, but I have a feeling that the future is going to hold possibly the most beautiful ones of all. I don't know. Just a feeling I have. I'm really excited to see what they have for when we get closer to spring. Um, yeah. So if you have one in particular that you really, really enjoy, let me know in the comments section. So I guess that's it for today, you guys. I just wanted to show you my ColourPop stuff. And um, that is it. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.